Welcome to the enchanting world of Clara Thompson, where the first snowflakes of winter drift lazily from a slate gray sky. In this captivating tale, Clara finds herself in the dimly lit attic of her grandmother's house, surrounded by the scent of old wood and dust. This nostalgic perfume whispers secrets of the past, setting the stage for a journey into forgotten relics and mysterious photographs. Join Clara as she uncovers the stories buried beneath layers of dust and silence, igniting a longing within her to explore the mysteries of her family's history. Stay tuned as we delve into this intriguing chapter of discovery and connection. In the dimly lit attic, Clara Thompson's fingers brushed against the rough surface of a dusty box, its corners softened by years of neglect. With a gentle tug, she pried it open, revealing a treasure trove of forgotten relics. Yellowed letters, tarnished trinkets, and a collection of photographs that seemed to pulse with energy. Among these artifacts lay a photograph that caught Clara's breath, a sepia-toned image of a family she did not recognize, their faces etched with a mixture of joy and sorrow. Clara's heart raced as she traced the outline of the photograph with her fingertips, feeling an inexplicable connection to the figures frozen in time. The photograph seemed to beckon her, igniting a longing within Clara to uncover the stories that lay buried beneath layers of dust and silence. Yet, as Clara's excitement bubbled over, a shadow loomed in her mind, the strained relationship with her mother, Lila. Lila, pragmatic and cautious, had always dismissed Clara's fascination with the supernatural, warning her against delving too deeply into the past. You don't want to stir up trouble, Clara. Lila would say, her voice laced with concern. But Clara felt a pull, a magnetic force urging her to explore the mysteries that surrounded her family. Tension crackled in the air as Clara wrestled with her mother's warnings. The attic, with its creaking floorboards and dim light, felt like a sanctuary. Yet it was also a battleground for Clara's desires. She longed for connection, for understanding, but the weight of her mother's fears pressed heavily upon her shoulders. As Clara rummaged through the box, she stumbled upon an old map of Frostwood, its edges frayed and yellowed. The map seemed to whisper secrets of its own, hinting at a deeper connection to the photograph. Clara's heart raced with anticipation, her curiosity igniting a fire within her. She could almost hear the echoes of her ancestors calling out, urging her to uncover the truth. With newfound determination, Clara decided to share her discovery with her best friend, Jake Morales. Jake, with his tousled dark hair and mischievous grin, had always encouraged Clara to embrace her adventurous spirit. Together, they would seek out Mr. Harold Finch, the town historian, whose knowledge of Frostwood's past could illuminate the shadows that danced around Clara's family history. As Clara and Jake made their plans, the attic felt alive with possibility. The photograph, now cradled in Clara's hands, symbolized not just memory but the passage of time, a catalyst for her journey into the unknown. With hearts racing and minds swirling with questions, Clara and Jake set off to meet Mr. Finch, ready to unravel the threads of the past and weave them into the fabric of their present. The attic, once a place of dust and forgotten relics, had transformed into a gateway to adventure, beckoning Clara and Jake to step into a world where the past and present intertwined. Together, they would uncover the secrets of Frostwood, guided by the whispers of their ancestors and the promise of discovery. Join us as we continue this captivating journey, where every step brings Clara and Jake closer to the truth that lies hidden in the shadows of history.